hello good morning to all of you so uh, we are going to start uh, today the first lecture of the, our third semester course that is computational chemistry pcy 326 and uh, this is little bit advanced course so uh, the basics of or prerequisite of this course is actually the quantum chemistry that you have learned in your last semester so here uh, before entering to the computational chemistry course we will uh, little bit make summary uh, of the quantum chemistry that uh, we uh, know uh, that we know already and the knowledge of that quantum chemistry will be required in each and every steps of computational chemistry so let's uh, make a discussion that what are the important idea we actually acquired from quantum chemistry course and that is uh, the idea of wave function operator expectation values and many more things we know okay so as uh, you know that uh, wave functions we express that as uh, the for as a symbol psi which depends on the position and coordinate that can fully describe the state of a system okay next we uh, know the uh, information about the probability because as if we know uh, the wave function then we can uh, actually calculate the probability of finding the particles at a certain point okay and also we know the operator like the hamiltonian that is energy operator so if you know the wave function you can operate uh, by an operator uh, and then you will get the required properties so like if you uh, operate your wave functions by hamiltonian you will get the energy of the system okay and next is the expectation values and you know this is uh, there is an expressions like that that we can uh, make uh, an integration of psi star uh, a psi d tau by psi uh, divided by psi star psi d tau and if it is normalized then uh, our the denominator will be 1 and this is actually called the average value of the system okay so at last uh, we have the uh, we know about the schrodinger equations and that is uh, we can express uh, very simply that h psi is equal to e psi where h is an operator and psi is eigen function so when uh, h operated on psi will get uh, a constant back that is called eigen value and the wave function back okay so all these things uh, you know and uh, so up to this point you know the uh, schrodinger equations and then what we have uh, done we have take uh, so many uh, model systems Uh, these are all model systems not the real systems and these model systems can explain uh, some real world phenomena okay so like we have solved uh, uh, the we get the idea of the quantization from here that only certain discrete energy eigen values are allowed by the solutions of the schrodinger equation okay so uh, schrodinger equations if you treat Uh, the wave functions you will get certain uh, only certain discrete energy levels not the continuous any uh, any of the values can be not cannot be possible okay so we have uh, solved many of the model systems and this is uh, not the real system i am reminding you <coughs> like particle in one d box particle in a box model that actually can able to explain the uh, translational motion of electron or uh, rigid rotor uh, model that can explain the rotational motions or rotational spectroscopy uh, of molecule and harmonic oscillator uh, we have also solved it and that can explain the vibrational motions that your uh, the molecules that has bonds can vibrate and these vibrations can be expressed by this harmonic oscillator quantum uh, uh, model and also particle in sphere that is uh, actually we have solved these type of systems for hydrogen atom 
and here we uh, get the results as electronic motions and the energy levels of the hydrogen atom which is actually nothing but the atomic orbitals okay so uh, from here uh, we can go beyond that is the for multi electron systems we can solve schrodinger equations for multi electron systems so we have to incorporate here spin uh, that is pauli antisymmetry principle and finally if we can solve the schrodinger equations for molecule then what we will get we will get energy levels of the molecules where electrons can stay and that actually defines the molecular orbital so if you see the hamiltonian For a many, many electron systems, then uh, we can express the Hamiltonian in such a way that it has nuclear kinetic energy, electronic kinetic energy, uh, nuclear repulsion, uh, nuclear nuclear repulsion, nuclear electron attraction, electron electron repulsion, etc. So many terms are there. And you might remember that uh, we only can solve exactly the Schrodinger equations up to hydrogen atom, only a single particle system. When we go beyond the single particle, you know that we cannot solve this uh, 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 Schrodinger equations because of this electron-electron repulsion term. Okay. So what we found up to this point that we have the equations which can actually determine the properties of everything, but the things are that we cannot solve that exactly. So two main aspects are. Uh, we get from here one is that we have to go beyond with approximation that we will solve the approximate Schrodinger equations and next one more things is that that even after such approximations means that we if we take such approximation still these equations are mathematically too complicated to solve okay so what is the from the first point we will get the approximate Schrodinger equations and the, for the second point what we need that as we cannot solve these equations after such approximations by pen and paper so we need some help of program that we uh, wrote these equations according to some programs and then we, we make algorithms and we can calculate using computer okay so that uh, calculations will be easier and faster okay so actually these two uh, points, important points actually guided us or directed us to the entry of the computational chemistry. So in basic uh, uh, computational chemistry what we can say that it is uh, nothing but the solutions of the approximate uh, Schrodinger equation using some with the help of computer. Okay? So, uh, we are now what we will do, we will uh, see that computational chemistry actually what is explained uh, in the next lecture. Okay, so thank you.